Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to get another photo reading. This time it's on a highly requested Housewives reading. So if you really like Housewives, you want more Housewives, make sure you watch this and share this because if this does well, do more Housewives. I love Housewives. So um, I haven't watched any of the new seasons of Miami. I watched before it got canceled. Um, but everyone has been talking about Real Housewives Miami because Lisa Hochstein and Lenny are headed towards a divorce. And Lenny was allegedly caught on camera with a hot mic moment saying that um, nobody knows but that he was cheating on Lisa and he doesn't want to have sex with Lisa anymore because he feels like it's cheating on the person that he really does love. So it was super controversial. She's claiming she was kind of like blindsided. Um, there was accusations, I believe, that she may have made, made allegedly that he told her to get out of the house and take the kids and leave. He wanted it away from her. He basically hates her and despises her, and he has a new girlfriend who's younger and throwing it in Lisa's face, and they've been together for over 10 years. For those who don't know the backstory, Lisa struggled with fertility, and he was adamant that she have his babies and kind of shamed her and belittled her, allegedly. Um for not being able to have kids until she eventually was able to overcome her fertility issues and had, I believe, two children with him and then decided to upgrade and date a younger woman. So whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look at the dynamic between the two of them and what's going to happen moving forward. If um, she really was blindsided, what's going to happen next, what he's doing, and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and look at their dynamic and then look a little bit at Viralis' Miami. So remember, these readings are all legends from Timbers only, and let's get started. Okay, so... On the left will be Lisa. On the right will be Lenny. Damn. Okay. Definitely a battle over the home coming. The Four of Wands is reversed. So there's a battle over the home. I don't know if that's the money from the home, where they live, what's going on. There's a battle for the home for sure. That's headed. Uh, it's the Four of Wands. Um, the Hierophant is reversed, which is what she shows up as, which is divorce, right? That's a separation, a breaking of a commitment, a breaking of a marriage. So definitely seeing her being represented as the card of divorce is not shocking. What's interesting is he's Ten of Swords reversed, which is self-sabotage, which to me means that he, I do I definitely think that he's going through a little bit of like um, a midlife crisis, so to speak. Um Ten of Swords Reverse tells me that he's absolutely like self-sabotaging a lot of things in his life right now. The Four of Wands also home and family, which makes me feel like maybe family had an impact in this dynamic as well. I know his family is a little bit uh, intense, so maybe it was his family. I'm not sure. Um, let's keep pulling. Queen of Wands reversed, High Priestess reversed, and Five of Cups. Oh, Lenny didn't trust her. What? So the Queen of Wands is a very beautiful, bold, confident woman. And the High Priestess is an issue with trust. The Queen of Wands being reversed, okay, is other like that's like other people's perception or lashing out. And the Five of Cups disappointment. First of all, there are a few things that are going on here. One, obviously, we can read that as Lenny wanting to upgrade to someone younger. We I get that. That's clear as day, right? He's dating like a younger girl. It's clear that he's in his upgrade phase. We get it. Midlife crisis, whatever you want to call it. I don't need to reiterate that point. But the Queen of Wands being reversed means a few different other things here. It means that he feels like she was attracting other men or other men were attracted to her. He definitely didn't trust her and felt like she was doing things herself. Um, in fact, I feel like he was like, why are you dressing up like that and going out? That's not for me. Who's that for? Like, there's a distrust there. And I guess maybe he was telling on himself by projecting there. But it just, for me, there's like a distrust that he had with her. I also do think that he was putting down her, allegedly for chambers only. I do feel like he was putting down her physical appearance. The Queen of Wands reversed. You know, Lisa could say a lot. You know, that's interesting. I think Lisa's still protecting him because that makes me feel like he insulted her physical appearance quite often, made her feel insecure. So I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if she's, she's still protecting him. I mean, he's the father of her children. There's a certain person <clears throat> that he feels like she ran to for comfort that he doesn't trust and never trusted. They definitely fought over this person. It's the King of Cups. Potential water sign, but it just means someone you're emotionally invested in. So maybe that's an accusation of emotionally cheating or something. But he felt like there was someone she ran to for emotional support that he did not trust. 
justice is upright. I will say, I definitely think that their connection has had moments where energetically they were separated. They may not have broken up, but they were energetically separated because the King of Cups and the Justice card makes me feel like there was definitely someone else that she was confiding in at some point, but it was a reaction to something he did. So I feel like they were going tit for tat. I don't know if I would say that either of them knew the other person was cheating fully or at least sexually, but... It definitely feels like they had no communication and a complete lack of trust. Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, Ten of Cups. Does he want more kids? What is this? Ten of Cups, Two of Wands. Oh my God, all he did was want kids with her. Ew. I don't think Lenny... Okay. Allegedly, French Chambers only don't sue me. All opinions here, no facts. I don't actually think that he loved Lisa. I don't think he ever respected Lisa. I think he enjoyed Lisa's genes and he wanted to have a baby with her and that was it. Because the Two of Wands is sex, the Knight of Swords is intentions, and the Knight of Shining Armor, and then the Ten of Cups is family and happily ever after. So that's like swooping in and being like, oh, I can help you, Lisa. I can save you, especially considering I believe she was Canadian at the time, so I think she needed uh, citizenship or something like that. He was like ready to save her. He wanted to swoop in and save her and then have babies with her, and that was it. He doesn't like that she got more attention. That's the problem. He doesn't like that she was getting so much attention. He believes that she was cheating on him all the time. He did not trust her because she got too much attention. Queen of Cops and the Star makes me feel like she was getting too much attention from other people. Three of Swords is the breakup. So for him, he was like, you're supposed to be mine, not everyone else's. And then she was, con I see her constantly trying to placate him and constantly trying to make him feel secure. But if you feel insecure, no matter what I do is going to make you feel secure. You know, why would you marry a bad bitch if you were this insecure? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, he's totally convinced she's been cheating for a while, which is why he doesn't feel remorse. This is why Lenny doesn't feel remorse right here. Judgment card, Knight of Wands, and Wheel of Fortune. Lenny feels like... Lisa, this is how he's demonized Lisa in his head. He feels like she's been cheating on him for as well. He feels like the like she plays the perfect public image, but she's really mean behind closed doors. He feels like she does things on purpose, and he feels like that he he's justified the fact that he feels like she's only was only with him for the money, and that he she only goes for people with money. He's completely managed to demonize her in his brain. He doesn't realize that his actions cause her to act this, these certain ways. I'm not just blaming all, all of it on him. I get it. It takes you to tangle for a relationship. But for him, he doesn't realize that his actions make other people feel a certain type of way because he only cares about his own feelings. So he's not understanding that a lot of her emotional reactions are reactions to things he's done and that they might not be justifiable, but you should understand where they're coming from. Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, and Six of Pentacles. Oh my fucking God. He literally... <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest with you. This is subject to change. This is absolutely subject to change. But he is so ready to cut his losses that I actually see him. And again, this might change, especially with the new girlfriend and stuff. He literally wants to move on with this new girl and start anew. And he wants to move very quickly. So for him, he's kind of like, whatever. Let's reach a settlement. Let's just pay it out. All she wants is my money. That's fine. Give her the money. Shut the fuck up. He is very ready to move on. The only way this will change is if Lisa 
starts like digging at him in the media, if she keeps, if he feels like people keep poking him at the media, then he'll be petty back. But as it stands right now, he's like ready to discard and move on. Yeah, get over it. I'll give you whatever you need. Shut up. I'll give you the settlement. I'll give you this. Six, six of pentacles to me is like, let's make a deal. Let's make a business deal. Let's make a contract. That's what that is. So it's like, all right, how much money? Like he's ready. If he does fight it, I don't think it should last that long. I mean, if it if it, if it does, it's not him. It's someone else in his ear. Because him personally, he wants it over and done with, wants to move on. I'm ready to move on. He's ready. So if any changes happen there, it's not, it's from someone else's influence. It's not from him. Nine of cups reversed, two of cups, seven of cups. Yeah, he just wants to sell a new person a fantasy. This guy is so fantasy based. What's his sign? It reminds me of like when a Pisces is in like this fantasy world and wants to sell the same fantasy. He loves the thrill of the fantasy. He's just a Peter Pan. This guy never grew up. Knight of Cups versus Immature. That's a Peter Pan. These Seven of Cups and Knight of Cups together are Peter Pan syndrome, especially when you add the Two of Cups is the connection you share to other people. To me, that's Peter Pan syndrome. I don't want to grow up. I'm looking for my, what is it, Wendy? Like for me, it's like I'm looking for, you know, someone who can nurture me and take care of me as I am a grown child. He's just a Peter Pan. He just never wanted to grow up. He doesn't have to. He makes too much money to grow up. Mm. He feels like, he feels like Lisa is jealous of his new girlfriend. And he feels like the reason why Lisa's doing all of this is because she's jealous, not because she's hurt. Six of Swords, Social Media, Three of Cups, Jealousy, Hermit Reversed, Out of a Comfort Zone. I think that Lisa had an inclination that things weren't going well. And I think there were parts of their marriage where things were like separated or awkward. Do I think that she specifically knew about this girl and him hooking up with her and being in love? No. Um, but do I think that there have been slight issues before? Yes. But I think he finally was just like, fuck it, I'm going full speed at this. And then he's trying to justify it and be like, we've had issues before. You knew. You knew we had issues before. Why are you acting brand new now? When she didn't know it was this serious with this specific person and that it was still happening. I think she thinks that they work through it, but they never did. He just got better at hiding it. This man did not respect Lisa. Never did. Never did. Never respected her. Never. He saw her as a vessel in which he was able to get what he wanted. Unfortunately. Lenny will not grow up. Three of Pentacles. Job. Eight of Pentacles. Effort. Five of Wands. I see Lenny being like, why are you even fucking complaining? This gives you a great storyline and it's able to make you your own money and start your own business on the show. Why are you mad? Look at all this drama we're, we're, I'm giving you for the show. Shut the fuck up. Like, that's how Lenny is. He's just like, why are you even complaining? Everyone's talking about you. This is what you wanted, right? You want to be famous? You wanted to be on the show? Look what you've got. Why are you complaining? <laughs> Lenny's kind of funny to me. He's just so, he, I just, Lenny is funny reading Lenny I'm just like you are in your own world like you are in your own world honey five of swords three of wands versus a magician oh he's gonna continuously poke at her well actually I don't know if Lenny will poke at her but I think he's gonna get people around him to poke at her so something that's gonna start happening as the divorce proceedings happen, as they start separating, Lenny is gonna keep tabs on her, clearly. I mean, they have children together. And I think that she's going to, I see her having a little bit of PTSD and feeling like she's kind of like being watched or whatever because he's keeping tabs on her. The people that he's friends with are gonna update on what she's doing. Um, the people are gonna be making comments. Yeah, Lenny is, still has his hand in the cookie jar and still wants some level of control over what she does. Allegedly for chambers only. Yeah. King of Wands, Tower and Fool. Because you cannot do better than me. <laughs> I don't want you doing better than me. 
I also think that there is someone eventually that she's going to be either flirting with or seen with or interested in that is very attractive, the King of Wands, very attractive. And the Fool's Reverse with the Tower, which means that it's someone that he either already has previous beef with or he will have beef with them because he's not going to like them. And this, this particular person, this King of Wands, has a mouth, a big mouth, and don't care. Very attractive, though. Or at least someone people would consider attractive. I mean, I guess you could see that as someone with a lot of money, too, because that's attractive to people, but who knows? Could just be a hot guy. Oh, yeah. The girl's going to try and get on the show. The girlfriend's going to try and get on the show. Yes, she is. The Queen of Swords, the Strength card reversed, and the Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. And if she can't get on the show, she's going to try and get one of her friends on it so she can appear. <laughs> and if that's not happening, one of the girls that doesn't like Lisa on the show will try to get the girlfriend to appear at a party. I mean, it'll be ratings gold. You know, Lisa better be careful because I think they're trying to they're trying to recreate Teresa Judice with Lisa, where like the whole show is centered around Teresa. They're toying with the idea of centering the entire show around Lisa. And I'm gonna be honest, it's not a bad idea. The Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the King of Pentacles is reversed. It's pretty lucrative to do that. I get the King of Pentacles is an issue with stability, right? But Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Wands, I mean, you signed up for that burden. And the Nine of Pentacles says it's extremely lucrative. And Lisa needs the money. Death and Four of Swords. Yeah, they want to restructure Miami, by the way. So this is, we're going into Miami as a housewives. They want to restructure it. They feel like they have this juicy story. And I don't think they're upset with how Miami's going, but I feel like they feel like they don't have the proper direction for Miami, that it's a little bit all over the place. I haven't watched a new season yet, so maybe I'm off, but this reads as we don't have the direction. We found our direction. Let's run full speed at this. They want to anchor the show around Lisa. And they want to build the cast around that. There's a restructuring here they're thinking about doing. Yep. Because they feel like, they feel like, yeah, the birth of something new or starting fresh. There's like an issue with like starting fresh, the contracts that are given to the other housewives, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there she is. I think they're probably going to try to make her very much like, you know how like Real Houses Beverly Hills centers around Erica? Yeah, expect them to think about doing that with Miami and Lisa, where everything is going to be centered around Lisa moving forward. And I think they're going to try and plant more stories or get people to talk more. Some people are talking more about Lisa, 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 because the story is very compelling. And I think they're thinking about doing that. It's a very, very smart move. Um, very, very smart move. Um, I do think they're going to chop some of the Miami housewives, though, if they don't play uh, along. Um, because it, it definitely looks like it definitely looks like Lisa is their moneymaker here. This story is too juicy for them. I mean, I guess they could decide last minute to not go in this direction, but I wouldn't see why because like this is gold right here. I guess it's a matter of what they can get Lisa to be comfortable doing, but I think she's kind of fucked because she needs the money so and Lenny is willing to like <laughs> you can bribe Lenny so they've learned I think the producers have learned how to bribe Lenny because you know how he's mad because he's like oh they edited my hot mic whatever I think that they know that like if they they're like well you can get back at Lisa this is how you get back at Lisa I think Lenny would be willing to do it 
Oh, Lenny's too cocky, so he falls into their traps. Seven of Swords, Cherry Reverse, and Page of Wands, so... I don't know. I mean, I think it'll be interesting, but I definitely, I mean, there's a girl coming for her and I don't know if it's going to be the girl that he's dating or connected to that girl that he's dating, but that connection will be made eventually. He's a child. You have to look at, I laugh because you have to look at Ch Lenny as a child. He is a Peter Pan syndrome man. I've dated enough of them to know that energy. I recognize in two seconds, I keep I've dated this guy so many times. I've dated a Lenny so many times. They don't want to grow up, and he's not going to grow up. And the thing about Lenny is that he has too much money to be forced to grow up. He'll never grow up. There's no reason to. So he ain't going to change, girl. This man ain't changing. Do I think that he cares about his kids? Yeah, I do think he cares about his kids. But I don't think that he understands the, like, the mature way to care about his children because he has never grown up. So it's like getting a child to care the same way an adult does. Like it's just not going to connect emotionally. He's too immature to understand what that connection means. For him, everything is a role. It's a fantasy. So like having the white picket fence, having the house, having the children, getting married, it's all the fantasy. It's all the idea. It's all the image of that. It's not the actual feeling, emotion, or anything that goes along with it. It's just the image. So. Allegedly from Chambers only. So that's why I see. If you guys like that, make sure you tip. There's a link to my people down below. It's about 92. It's a heart. It says thanks. You give me directly. Hopefully you guys like this. If you do, I will do more Bravo shows or Housewife shows. I do love Housewives. I may not watch Miami right now, but I do watch a lot of them. So if this flops and it flops, whatever, I like doing it. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and for Until next time, good luck. Share the video.